Hello. How are you today? How are you today? Good. Good. You? I'm doing okay. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Welcome back. We only have tomorrow's session and we're finished. So congratulations to the ones that uh, waited and were patient. So good job. What is today's date? What is the date today? Today is Wednesday. Wednesday. What date, Lisette? Uh, July 21 or 22? 22nd. 22nd, okay. Yes, July 22nd. Like I explained yesterday, you can say 21, you can say 22. People will understand you. But um, grammatically speaking, um, you should use ordinal numbers, 22nd. What was yesterday? If today is the 22nd, what was yesterday? July 21st. Good. What is tomorrow? July, July 23rd. 23rd. Exactly. And so on. So remember that in English, every day is ordinal. It's different than Spanish because in Spanish, only the first day of the month is ordinal. Primero de enero, the, ne the following day we say dos de enero. Primero de febrero, the following day we start saying dos, tres, cuatro. But English is different. E all the month is ordinal. All right. So today is July 26th. So we began the middle of the year 22 days ago and time is going fast. So anyways, welcome back everybody. Uh, let's begin by talking about yesterday. What did we do yesterday? What was yesterday's topic? Uh, yesterday we talked about um, the words, um, um, some grammar, um, the, the five parts of, ah, the eight parts of grammar. Okay. <laughs> um, we talk about the meaning, the spelling, pronunciation, uh, how to use it, and part of speech of words. Okay, good. So we mentioned five different things. Which are the three mo mo most relevant? The meaning. Meaning? Um, uh, how, how to use it. And spelling? Speaking. Oh. Pronunciation. Pronunciation. Very good. Pronunciation. So right. how to use it, pronunciation, and the meaning. Those three are priority. Now the spelling and the part of grammar is also important, but they're not as important as the first three that Benjamin uh, mentioned. So the five aspects are really important, but in a conversation, you only use three in a, in a normal conversation. So your priority should be how to use it, pronunciation, and the meaning of the word. What else did we talk about? Do you remember? What else did we mention yesterday? We talked about, about bullying. the bullying. Bullying, right. Yeah. We, we discussed uh, <laughs> bullying, yes. Uh, there was a set of questions that you guys were asking and answering. So bullying, it should be, uh, it should disappear from our society, but unfortunately it's something that uh, we have always had in our country. 
Okay, so we spoke about bullying and we discussed the five different aspects you should know about a new word. Any questions before we start today's session? No? Your silence no says teacher. a lot. No All teacher. right. No teacher. Good. So I will interpret your silence as a no. There are no questions. Mm -hmm. All right, so today we have three different activities. The first one is related with grammar and it's directly connected with the way you speak. Do you guys remember, let me write it in the, in the chat of the platform. Do you guys remember models? Do you like remember? modales in, in Spanish? Uh, modales? What is a modales in Spanish? Um, Grammatically speaking, like, uh huh. Uh, when when we say please, and oh, okay, yes, um. Those are manners, like we say, please, thank you, excuse me. Those are manners. You can also say models. She's got good models, he's got good models. Now, grammatically speaking, what is the function of models? Let me write an example for you. That's an example of a model. Oh, okay. Does anybody uh, remember? Sure. Uh -huh. Must, what else? Come on, I know you guys know. Could, uh-huh, could, would. What else do you might. remember? Might, uh-huh. Can. Uh-huh. Any others? May. May. Okay, so we can mention more, but I'm glad that you guys can mention the ones that are uh, most common. Now, if I say, you should go to the doctors, what is the message in that sentence? You should go to the doctors. It's a suggestion. It's a suggestion, exactly. So should, what is the function of should? To give suggestions, recommendations, or advice. Now, if I tell you that I don't feel well, and then you tell me, well, Francisco, if you don't feel well, you must go to the doctor. What is the function of must in that case? It's like an obligation. Good, it's an obligation, it's mandatory. Especially yeah. if you see me shaking and I can hardly speak and everything, uh, you say, look, you must go see a doctor. It's mandatory, it's not optional. So um, what if you said, well, you could go, but I think it's better if you stay home. What is the function of could? They give you an option. Aha, uh -huh. an option, a possibility, very good. So let me show you an image where they, uh, present um, right here. Do you see the document? Can you see the document? Yes. Okay. Sure. All right. So uh, I need a volunteer to read the introduction that we have here. They are. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, please. Okay. They are auxiliary verbs that provide additional and specific meaning to the main verb of this sentence. Okay, good. Thank you. So they are auxiliary verbs that provide additional and a specific meaning to the main verb of the sentence. Thank you, Benjamin. Um, if I said, I should go, I could go, or I will go. 
they are completely different from each other. Let me write that on the on the chat. I should go. I will go. I must go. I'm missing one letter there. I must go. All right. Should, will, and must. What is the main verb that I'm using in the three sentences? Go. Go, exactly. So if I said, look, I'm not feeling well and I'm thinking about going to the hospital, I should go. So when I said I should go, what I'm saying to myself is, it's a good idea, it's a good recommendation that if I go to a hospital, if I say, look, tomorrow I have a meeting at work at 9 a.m. and I will go. That indicates something that will happen in the future. And then my boss tells me, look, you need to come back at 2 p.m. So I say to myself, I must go. So we're using exactly the same verb, but the meaning of the verb changes according to the model that we're using. And um, the part that Benjamin uh, read is exactly connected with these three examples should, uh, here. I should go is very different than I will go. And I will go is very different than I must go. So these three examples represent the part that we have in this small chart here. Any questions so far? No, teacher, it was clear. Okay, so let me send this image to the WhatsApp chat. Let me wait for this telephone to get back to business right here. Mm -hmm. My goodness. Give me a second, give me a second. All right, it's right here. Second, eight to nine, eight to nine, eight to nine p.m. Right here. But fish is good. Okay, uh, did you receive the image in the WhatsApp chat? Did you? Yeah, yeah. Sure. All right, so let me, um, hold on, let me, so you can take a picture from the screen that I'm sharing the computer, or you can use the one that I, I sent you in the, in the WhatsApp chat. So I want you to work in pairs and discuss the function of each one of the models that I'm sharing here with you. So, questions clear? Are the instructions clear? Yes? Yeah, no? teacher. Maybe? Here we go.
Hum? Ah, Night Shift. Ah, Night ese, shift. yo sabía que era ese, pero no estaba seguro, yo creía que era Night Switch. Ajá. Y es Night, Night Shift. Ajá, es que ya lo había escuchado en otro lado. Night Shift. Night, Night Shift, ajá. And I, I, I think was Night Swift. <laughs> ok. Ok. In the other week. Yeah, this time, next, next week, I shall be in the night switch. Shift. Shift. Night, night shift. Uh -huh. Okay. What time is your night shift, Benjamin? What time do you start? Uh, I start the Monday from 10, 10 o'clock to 6 o'clock. A.M. A.M. Right. All right. Do you like working in the night shift? Um, sometimes. <laughs> okay. When, when, when I don't don't do not have much work. <laughs> All right. But but in the nights that we have a lot of work is very hard. All the night you you have to be alert and all the night you have to be doing something <laughs> right 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 okay yeah teacher hello what is the what is the best pronunciation the the word short show is is good or no show show the, the termination yeah. is letter l show Show. Show. Yep. In Spanish is deberá. Yes. It's it's future but mandatory. Only you can say this word in the future. Only in future and usually people use it for contractual situations. Um, for example, if you sign a contract with Tigo, Claro, whatever, in the paper they have small letters in the bottom that nobody reads. And those small letters, they said, if Edward cancels the, the contract, he shall pay for the remaining time. Oh, ah, okay. So it's future, but mandatory. Okay, did you, in, in, the, in the word meet? Uh, which word? I don't, I, don't, I don't know the pronunciation. I'm, but um, N I G H T. Meet. Uh, might. 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 
So right. if you yeah. said, uh, Francisco, do we have an exam today? I said, uh, we might. Might is, it means a small possibility. Might. Well, the person not sure to, to do it. <laughs> um, right, and the possibilities are very small. Okay. So that's, that's how you use might. Any other questions? And yes, teacher. Uh huh. I'm sorry for for too no, many questions. No, no, no. Questions, ask but... me. Ask me. Okay, teacher. The the word opt to. I don't remember to mention in in, in another. Oh, okay. opt to. Opt to is opt -to. not too common, but it's a model, and it's 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 a very nice way of saying should. So I have fever. He said, "Oh, you ought to go to the doctor." You ought to go to the hospital. You're saying should, but in a more professional way. Like a suggestion. Yes, a formal suggestion. A formal okay. suggestion, yes. In, in Spanish, you can you can translate uh, like uh, debería. Debería, Possible? exactly. But in a very nice okay. way, yes. Okay, thank All you. Right. All right, good, no problem. For example, may I help you? Is is common mm -hmm. to memorize. When I but, was at the, at the at the college, I I I really remember that I memorized. May I go to the bathroom? <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> Very common. <laughs> yeah. You live where, Rebecca? In Metapan. Oh. Is it, uh, yes. is it fresh there or is it a uh, hot? No, here is fresh. Okay. Good. But it's in it's in raining. It's raining now. But, no, not it's only a... for that reason, teacher. Because okay. Metapan is a it it has a hot weather. Okay. Mm -hmm. All the time. Okay. Yeah. So it's, there is it's not it too hot like San Miguel, but it's hot. Oh, okay. I went to Metapan, I not think. Not too hot like. Uh huh. Not too hot like San Miguel in La Unión. But it's hot. But it's hot. Okay. Yeah. I, I visited Metapan like two different times in my life. And I remember the, the weather was acceptable. I mean, not hot, not cold. It was like normal, but. If I go right now or, or in the middle but, of Semana Santa, it must be really hot. Yeah, yeah depends the, the month la, that you was coming. Okay, all right, good. Because this December, it has a, a good weather. December and sometime oh, November, oh. In January. Okay. Do, is it, do, you, do you come to a point where you need a sweater? Mm. Or is it only fresh? It's for uh -huh. I, I depends of the specific area. Okay. For example, if you live in the in the downtown of Metapan, uh -huh. it's hot. Okay. But if you live around Metapan, because Metapan is a big city. Right. Yeah. For example, if you if you go around, for example, near to Guatemala, uh huh. The weather is is very nice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Guatemala has some nice weather. It's 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 yeah. fresh. It's fresh. Yeah. Okay. And for example, here in in Metapan, we have a uh, Monte Cristo. Right. We have some, some mountain. Yeah, national park. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Nice. Yeah. Interesting. Heat. Uh -huh. H -A -T. Uh -huh. So like heat up. Okay. Some milk. Ah. Okay. Well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, number seven. Uh, show. Show. Yes. Show. show. Shawl. Okay. What is the uh, function of shawl? 
Do sure, you remember sure. the function? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Talk about a uh, recommendation mm -hmm. or obligation. Okay, are, are you discussing should or shall? Should. Oh, should. Okay, should is for sure. recommendations, right? Right. Yes, should. And what about the other one, shall? Uh, yeah. uh, Except. Um, let's say, um, if the police comes, you shall stay here. If the police comes, you shall stay here. Mm -hmm. Si viene la policía, usted se quedará aquí. Okay. It's, it's future, but mandatory. Okay. It should head up early. In Spanish, debería levantarme temprano o algo así. Okay, uh, if you're using should, you're saying debería despertarme temprano. But if you say, look, I have a, I have a job interview tomorrow at 8 o'clock, I should wake up early. Me levantaré tarde. So you're talking about future events that are mandatory, that are not optional. Like uh, I shall not give, give up. I exactly. Shall give up. I shall not give up. No me daré por vencido. It's future, but mandatory. Yes. Okay. All right. Do uh, you can... Uh, more English. <laughs> yeah, uh, for my career, I need English. I don't like a lot, but I need it. What is your career, um, Annie? What, teacher? What is your career? Tourist. Mandatory. Tourist. Well, I, I think that all the careers, English is now part of their lives but tourism is it's you know you have more reasons to be bilingual yes mm -hmm. i need learn english very good 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 and that's why you're coming to class uh, um at eight o'clock right i can hear you well teacher that that you said uh you need to learn english very well and I answered, that's the reason why you're coming at, uh, to class at 8 o'clock. Did you hear me? No, teacher. I hear interference. Okay. All right. Never mind. Don't worry. So I think it's time to go back to the main session. Okay. All right, can somebody explain the function of can? What is can? Can you play chess? Can you play checkers? Can you play basketball? What is the function of that? Yes, Lisa. Teacher. Uh huh. Uh, we have we have a we have a question. Yes. What is the question, Benjamin? Um. Uh, with the word. Um, might yes, I found I found in Google Translate. Um, maybe, and might might be not. Uh huh. And we can we can use that. Um, uh, we can use that words, right? That sure. Might so might be might be not. Yes. For example, um, a sentence. Uh, I might. I might be an engineer. Okay. Yes, you can. Um, I, okay. 
and and may, maybe be correct? Sure, sure. Let me give you an example, Benjamin. For example, you say, you know what? Um, um, I need to visit a friend of mine and I will have to walk like three hours. So I said, Benjamin, um, it might not be a good idea to walk for three hours, especially if there is no public transportation. It might not be a good idea to waste your money. It might not be a good idea to buy unnecessary things. So you can definitely use it like that. Uh, okay. Yes. Thanks. All right. Okay. okay. Does anybody else have any other questions about this before we start discussing them one by one? Somebody, anybody? Teacher. Yes, sir. I have a, a comments for, for this topic. Okay, ask, tell me. For me, it's very interesting and um, I had to do a, a flavor for for more information, send or or the structure, the the, the words. Sure. I sure. prefer to, to more information in the in the WhatsApp chat or whatever you want. Send me send me a, an email. Anybody that wants to have this information because this document is like it, it, it has many pages, but it's very well explained. So if you're interested in getting this document in your email, send me a WhatsApp. This is my email and I'll send it to you. No problem. Yeah. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Thank you, teacher. All right. Thank you. All right. Um, any other questions or comments before we start discussing each one of them? If I tell you I can speak two languages, what is the message of that sentence? I can speak two languages. That I can speak um, two idioms. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, hey, can you think about a, a synonym for the word can? What is a synonym of can? Um, synonym. When you when you use can, what you are saying is that you have the ability to do a particular thing. So if I tell you I can speak two languages, that means that I have the ability to speak two languages. Right. If I said uh, okay. I can go to Sonsonate tomorrow. That means that I have the ability to visit that place tomorrow. Is it clear? Okay. Yes. Okay. What's the difference between can and could? Could is the past tense of can. How do you say no pude venir ayer? I can't. I, I, I could can. I, um, I could. I. Uh, I, I could not come. I could not. Yes, exactly. Okay. And what is the construction uh -huh. of could not? Could. Could. So you said, I'm sorry, Francisco, but I couldn't come yesterday. No pude venir ayer. Now, mate, we may go to the party today. We may go to the park today. What is the function of may in that case? Uh, we may go. That, that we have to go <laughs> okay. to the party. <laughs> okay. Someone else um, wants to give an opinion? Like a possibility? Exactly. May represents a possibility may represents a possibility. What about might? We might go to the park when we finish the class. We might go to the park when we finish the class. What does that tell you? A possibility too. Exactly. 
So let me explain. Okay. Could, may, and might, they are synonyms because the three options represent a possibility. The difference is could is more possible than may and may is more possible than might. So once again, the three are synonyms, but could is more possible, then we have may, and last we have might. Any questions about those three? No, teacher. No? To me, it's clear. Okay. What is the function of must? What is must? Must. You must do uh, your homework. You must finish the platform. An obligation. When you have an right. obligation. Yes. Obligation. When we're talking about something is an obligation or something is mandatory. Very good. Now, what is show? Uh, in, in the future? To the good. future? Uh-huh. What kind of future, Benjamin? Um the uh, no i don't know <laughs> anybody mandatory future? what is it mandatory future yes mandatory future mandatory future so for example someone tells you look if your sister calls you shall wait for her if your sister calls you shall wait for her si tu hermana llama Usted se quedará. Usted le esperará. It's future, but mandatory. What about oh. should? So if you compare shall and will, will is for future, but it's normal. Shall is for future as well, but it's mandatory. What about should? A possibility. Should. Oh, no, no, no. Uh -huh. um. An option? I can suggestion. Suggestion. Yes. Should is uh, used as a suggestion. Right. What about ought to? Do you remember ought to? Formal suggestion. Okay, good. Um, should and ought to are synonyms, but ought to is more formal than should. So uh, what are the recommendations for the coronavirus? People say, look, if you start feeling fever, if you start coughing, you ought to go to the doctors. You ought to call 911 and someone can come and get you. So ought to is very similar to should, but it's more, um, it's more professional. It's more serious. What about will? When do you use will? Class? For future, maybe. For future, right. And what about would, the last one? Would. Would you can use for a suggestion. Okay. Someone else? When do we use would? We use would to talk about, well, it's got different functions. But the one that of how people use it in terms of a model is to talk about hypothetical situations. Like I would tell you, but it's a secret. I would help you, but I don't have time. So I would pay you, but I don't have money. So when you're using good, you're talking about hypothetical situations. Now, this is only this is only the introduction. I will finish uh, talking about this tomorrow. Do you have any questions so far? No, teacher. 
No. Okay, so we're going to make a pause right here. We're going to change topic right now. And it's time for you to speak, improve your fluency, your accuracy. And for this topic, I will show you these questions. Do you see the document? No, we get. Okay, let me take a picture, or you can also do the same from your computer. Do you guys like animals? Yes. <laughs> All right. Let me see. Where are you guys? Okay, you guys are right here. Share, plum, plum. Okay, do you see the questions there? Yes. Okay, so once again, I sent you the image to the WhatsApp chat and you can also take it from, from the screen that I'm sharing with you right now. I'm going to make pairs so you guys can discuss um, these questions. So let's change Benjamin with her. Mm -hmm. And like this. All right, so here we go. It's taking a little bit longer than usual. Uh, I like it to to be a, a tiger because I want to 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 run very fast. And you yeah. tell me what mm -hmm. is your natural animal ability or talent would you like to have? Okay. Or oh, talent. Mm -hmm. Ability. ¿Qué habilidad de un animal te gustaría o talento? Maybe. Yeah. If I'm um, interested in talent. <laughs> yeah, I like to. <laughs> okay. Uh, number two. What, what, 
what is the most useful animal in the world? I don't know. I think it would be the B. Yeah, B. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which yeah. one are you doing? Number, Number two. two. <laughs> Okay, what animal represents your character? That's a good question. Character. This is number three. We are number two. Number two. <laughs> you can, oh, you, you oh, you're do doing it. number two? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> so what is the answer for number two? Uh-huh. Perfect. I think B. <laughs> okay. Yeah, bees are very important. Yeah, because they are always working for the planet. Uh huh. For, I don't know how do you say pollinizar. Sorry. <laughs> Pollinize. Pollinize the flowers. Right, right. And I and I I've, I've been here about they are the most important animals in the world. Yeah. Yeah, they're nice animals too. Yeah. For for a pet, but for example, the the police officer use the dog to to find drugs. Ah, yeah. And for for example, the the blind people when the people can see. Yeah, yeah. blind people, right? Blind people, they use a dog for, for, yeah. um, guide them. Guide them, yeah. Thank right. you, teacher. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they train dogs to, uh, for different scenarios, for different missions, including um, to guide blind people. That is true. Blind people. Yes, blind people. People who cannot see. Okay. And the, the dog has the ability to, to to give you a lot of love. A lot yes. of yeah, love. love, yeah, affection, <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Yes, they are very affection animal. Yes, I like very dogs. Very I think I don't I like dogs, teacher, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you prefer cats? No. I, I don't prefer animals. I don't like animals. I oh, like really? plants. Oh. Yes. But in my house, there are two dogs, but there are not mine, but okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Te digo porque el, el lunes que iniciamos clase lo puse en práctica y creo que sí me entendió, entonces sí funciona. <laughs> ah, very good. Sí. Qué bueno. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, the third one says, what animal best represents, rep represents, 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 represents your character? Uh, in my character, I, I think so, the tiger. <laughs> <laughs> the tiger right. and the wolf. Oh, uh, good. That's, that's yeah. for me too. For 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 us, um, the the most of men um, are represented by a tiger, a wolf, mm -hmm. a lion, <laughs> wolf, crocodile, ti wolf, tigers, lions, and that's the most useful <laughs> to represent <laughs> the character of men. <laughs> okay. Your koalas. I don't know say koalas in English. I I the think pronunciation. The... <laughs> nah, I don't care. Uh, but it's... the the animals have the best life, koalas, because they sleep many times. How many hours? 
It's late. I, the, I think that is 23, maybe. 23? Hours, yeah. Every day? Yeah. <laughs> It's a, it's a good life, so. Yeah, I can imagine I sleep every day. Oh, my God. <laughs> I want this I think, life. Uh, uh, I think the best the best life for animal is the, maybe a cat. Because Why? it is at home. Always is, always is at home. Uh, wake up uh, to eat. Now sleep. <laughs> After sleep, now eat, maybe play over there in the yard, now <laughs> sleep, sleep todo el día. Yeah. Y, y molestar, annoy. Uh -huh. no, yo yo cuando, cuando veo a alguien así le digo, y de gato. Ah. <laughs> eh, no, I don't know. Animal represent my you me my character. <laughs> Maybe a gorilla, a crocodile, a bear, <laughs> a lion, tiger. <laughs> no, no, no can enjoy life. Mm -hmm. uh, the natural life. Uh huh. I think. Some animals can uh, can spend time in these places. For example, the cats and dogs, the cows too. But uh, animals like these, like like cars, like birds, like I don't know, a lot of animals. Yeah. Don't have to stay in these places. Yeah. Try to experiment with animal. With what else they tried? Yes, maybe with people. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult. For example, tried with 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 rat. Yes, because there are many. <laughs> yeah, and there is not that. In, I don't know how to say, peligro de extinción. Yeah. Yeah, it's not an endangered uh, of extinction. Yes. And no one's love, love it. Right. I don't <laughs> think people like to see rats. Yeah. Yes. All right, let's go back to the main session. Okay. Yeah, for me, it's okay they try with rats. Okay, for me too. I agree with you. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I wonder where everybody else went. <laughs> oh, they're coming back now. All right. Uh, were you able to finish uh, all the questions? Were you? Yes, no, maybe. We okay. did the seven. Okay. So if you had the chance to become an animal, what animal would you be? Eagle, Which, maybe. An eagle? Okay. Lisette, what animal would you like to be? Lisette? I don't know, teacher, but uh, it was a difficult question for me. All right. Now, yeah. if, if you could have a talent of an animal, what would you like to do? 
Maybe dog has a, a, a talent or ability to, to give love. Okay. Right. And it has a, a good ability. Oh, no, what is Okay. Good. Yeah, I mean, like, there are, there are different things. Like, you could like to have a little bit from different animals. Like, being an eagle, yeah. be able to fly, have the yeah. strength of a gorilla, be brave like a lion. A combination of different animals. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, we'll continue tomorrow. Same place, same time. Uh, tomorrow is our last class. Uh, so try not to be absent and we continue tomorrow. Thank you very much for making the space. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye, teacher. Good night. Bye. Bye.